Newberger Berman multi-asset CAO Eric Knudsen joins us today on a day, Eric, where, um, again, you got a flash of enthusiasm on uh, the sign that bonds uh, would rally here. I guess the market's still very much pivoting around what the Fed will do this year. Yeah, I think this highlights that even as the market is assuming that the Fed is moving to a very accommodative posture, pricing in five or six cuts, um, you know, the Fed is assuming less than that, and we think is still very data dependent. And you're going to get a lot of contrasting data from a you know pretty good employment report last week to perhaps a hotter and more challenging CPI report yesterday and a decent PPI uh, today. And I think that that volatility is likely to continue. Um, our, our take on this is that, you know, the, the timing is much less important than the path. And we do expect the Fed funds rate to move towards 3%. It may take longer than the market thinks, but that direction and that path is what is going to determine market outcomes over the next 6 to 12 months. Help us understand how that gets you to what appears to be pretty solid interest in small and mid caps. Yeah, so in this environment where in, in addition to a more accommodative rate environment um, and, and okay kind of economic growth, declining inflation, perhaps a little stickier than expected, that's that leads us to be broadly neutral in, in equities. But then we look at flows and our recently published fourth quarter asset allocation piece is flows and fundamentals. And this is an environment where uh, liquidity and where liquidity is and where it's going may be as important as those fundamentals. Um, we recognize that there's over $6 trillion of money market fund cash on the sideline. That's gone up by over a trillion dollars over the last 12 months. We think some of that is going to flow into equity markets. And there, where we want to be is in areas of equity markets that have not fully priced um, the, the soft landing, that aren't priced for perfection in this kind of narrow path forward that, that can still do well from a valuation standpoint um, if we get a more stagflationary environment or, or it takes longer to get to the, the outcome. That leads us to smaller company stocks. Given that you, Eric, look across the different asset classes and you suggest maybe the bond market is uh, in the short term overshooting when, when we get cuts, how is the bond market valued right now after this huge rally? Yeah, so we think that, that there's attractive opportunity kind of in the two to seven year maturity portion of the bond market, and that includes treasuries, high quality uh, credit, asset backed, mortgage backed securities. We think that, that as short term rates are going to fall, that it's a good time for investors to move that cash from the sidelines and lock in some yields. But in that two to seven year kind of maturity portion of the yield curve, at 10 years and beyond, not only are you not getting paid any carry for taking duration risk, but with concerns around debt sustainability, continued deficit spending, we think there's going to be increased term premium, increased volatility beyond that 10 year point. Our fair value view on the 10 year treasury is around four and a quarter. We're a little below that. So, you know, that 10 year point's a little bit rich. And that's why we want to be kind of in that short to intermediate area and higher quality end of the fixed income market.